Boluslav, because it was a very interesting moment. September 1st, 2010. And now almost four years have passed. I really enjoyed working with you, Bruce. And I am honored that I had the chance to work with you. It is now my pleasure to invite Dr. Artman Derkirian, Dr. Dennis Levens, Gabor Govinian. Actually, this is our entire executive team where we stand hours and hours together. To the podium, please, Dennis, Gabor. Uh, would you please, uh, Bruce, join us? <laughs> On behalf of the entire AUA community, we would like to present you with this gift so that you can always remember us. We are sure you will be back, as we all know, you love Armenia, you love UA. Thank you again. Bruce, we had one of those executive meetings without you <laughs> to decide what to give you. Bruce is, by hobby, a carpenter. He really likes carpentry, and he particularly likes these wooden boxes, uh, which are very special in Armenia. And so we decided on this, and there is an inscription that we should see, read for you inside. It says, Ari Gnadank, Yerkwazar Tas, Yerkwazar Tas Chor Steve Hayastani, American Hamasani, Arkasaper, Nahaka Hutian. Thank you very, very much. Um, I'd like to thank everybody who planned today's event and all those who are attending here today. Uh, as, as you can tell, it's a very moving moment for me as, as I reflect on my four years, four years here with you. Um, I will miss you and I will miss this institution very much and I do plan to visit. AUA is really a team. It's a team that consists of our faculty, of our staff, and our administration, and all that has been accomplished here, that has been mentioned so far today, has been due to all of, all of those working together. But in fact, there's a broader team that really should be acknowledged here today. One of AUA's founding organizations was the Armenian government, from whom AUA still receives great encouragement and support. Leaders of business and industry also provide encouragement and support for AUA, and they hire our graduates. The American government and the American embassy provide uh, encouragement and support for AUA. The AGBU gives us encouragement and support. And finally, AUA is a member of the community of universities that make up the educational landscape of Armenia, whose rectors and vice-rectors and educators communicate with one another, compare notes, compare best practices, and discuss the challenges that face us all. It has been a pleasure to work in this milieu for the past four years, and I would like to take a moment to very much thank all involved. So first and foremost, let me begin with the employees of AUA, the staff and the faculty here. When I arrived here four years ago, I was assured by many people that it would be nearly impossible 
to bring about a unified vision to which all of the university's employees would willingly subscribe. When I held my first meetings with faculty and staff early in my presidency, the question, what's your vision, was the most common question that I heard. I kept being told that the, there were fundamental disagreements on the future of the university and that it would be difficult to achieve consensus. That advice turned out to be the most wrong bit of advice that I was given in the lead up to my presidency. It soon became very clear to me that employees were asking about my vision, not to see if it coincided with their vision, but rather just to make sure I had one. Basically, they were willing to follow in any direction they were led, as long as it was rational, justifiable, and coherent. By the middle of 2011, we had the first draft of a strategic plan for the university that has been described before now, uh, today, has called for the addition of the undergraduate program and the quadrupling of our student population by 2016. Now, of course, such a strategic plan required a very rapid buildup of capacity, which in turn required a great deal of work. Uh, with regard to the physical plant, we doubled the size of the library, expanded the cafeteria, and did much other construction that would be necessary for the scalability of the university to that extent. With regard to academics, we developed curricula for three new bachelor's pro uh, degrees and one new master's degree, and we ushered those through the accreditation process. With regard to administration, we added a full team of vice presidents with a clear, robust, decentralized organizational structure. This has included new departments, such as our admissions department, the Center for Student Success. We've added new policies and procedures that really had never before been necessary, but became necessary because of our growth. And we expanded our external communication so that the rest of the world would know what we were doing. All this required huge amounts of work to which the employees of this institution responded magnificently. In the course of my career, I've worked in many institutions from startup companies to national laboratories to academic institutions. And during that time, I've had many employees having served as group leader, department chair, center director, etc. In that time, I've never seen a team rise to a challenge like this one did. This may be the first time in my career where I've literally had to go into employees' office, offices at 9 p.m. and tell them to go home and get some sleep. It's been a pleasure and an honor to work with a team as dedicated as this one. Much of this was planned growth, but along the way we received some wonderful surprises. As one example, we had always planned for our extension program to grow and become more sustainable. We did not plan for it to triple in size, we did not plan for it to open new classrooms in three different regions, and we did not plan for it to become an important revenue source for the university. Uh, my sincere thanks to the Extension team and to all of the other teams who, like Extension, exceeded expectations here, went on to exceed anything that we could reasonably have expected from them. And there are many other examples of that. Next, to the leaders of government, business, and education who are here today, we have done our best to forge closer ties between AUA and all of you. Early in my presidency, I was advised that AUA would do well to forge closer ties with the ministries, with Armenian industry, and with other Armenian universities. And that turned out to be one of the best pieces of advices, uh, advice that I received. Our cooperation with the Central Bank of Armenia that led to the creation of the new Masters of Science program and economics, the 
has resulted in our new classroom facilities in Dilijan in much mutual cooperation. In addition, we have cooperative agreements or memoranda of understanding in place with the Ministry of Defense, the Ministry of Justice, the State Revenue Committee of Armenia, UNICEF, the State University of Architecture and Construction, Mokhitar Sevastatsi School, the Ip High School, and more. We've also hosted many national and international conferences here on a variety of topics, from education reform to mining and public policy. Next week, for example, we will co-host the annual Armenian Economic Association Conference with our partners at Yerevan State University. Thanks to the tireless efforts of our faculty and staff, AUA is more of a recognized player in the academic and intellectual landscape of Armenia, and we are all very happy at that turn of events. Next, I would like to address the leaders of the Armenian academic community who are here today. Hayastani Gertagan Ashkarum Ins and Kuneru Hamar. Ins Hamar Medzba Diver Eis Chorsta Darban Tatskum Ashkadel. Uzumem Sirdan Shonora Galutun Heitner Polorit, Sir Horot Horot Neri, Sir Sir Vestahutian, Sir Parigamutian. Hamash. Yes. Vortzendel u mezatselem odar aperum harinikits heru hat kabesh noragalem ins ser michavarum antenelu hamar. Shnoragalem hayastani garavor hamal seranits megi vega ins vste heru hamar. Hayastani American Hamal Sarani Nahakai, Ashkadanka, in Bianchi Lava Queen, Port Sarutun Neritz, Megner. Yes, about them, Gadarabat, Ashkadan Neri Hamar, Yer Chamigan, or Garogat Selem, Hayastani American Hamal Saranum, Ujeris Neradzin Chapov, Irak Hotzel, Polot Zirak Redis. Եվ չորս տարի հետո համասրանը պարիպոխված վիճարվում հանցնել հաջոր նախակային։ In conclusion, I'd like to say that I'm very proud of the work that has been accomplished here over the past four years. I'm very proud of the condition in which I turn over the university to my successor, but we are at a critical juncture that will require continued commitment from all of you. One faculty member once said to me, recently in fact, he said, I've observed your secret. He said, you drive people so hard that you get a lot of work out of them, but not so hard that they become really angry at you. <laughs> I'm not sure if in fact that's what I've been doing. If it is, I can assure you that it was an unconscious decision to do it that way. As a, in fact, as I said earlier, it seems to me that this community required very little convincing to latch on to a vision and to work toward it, and I'm confident that you will meet all of your future challenges, and there will be plenty of them. 
with the same spirit of cooperation and unanimity that you have shown with me that, that you will continue this with the next president. In thinking of concluding words, in this day and age, when you want to find out something to say, you always go to the World Wide Web, and you look to see, in this case, what other academic leaders have said when they were leaving, to see if there's any bits of wisdom that you might be able to quote. And interestingly, the best sentiment that I found from a departing academic leader was that of the departing provost of the University of Pennsylvania in 1981. Uh, his name is known to all of you, Vartan Gregorian. When he left that institution, he said something that I think every academic administrator feels when they leave a place for which they have come to have a great deal of affection and where they have invested a great deal of effort with some successes and some failures. He said to the faculty there as he left, for those things that I have done right, please remember me. And for those things that I have done wrong, please forgive me. I'd like to leave you today by expressing that very same sentiment. Thank you very much for giving me the honor of leading you for the past four years.